So what is a colour wash? A colour wash is a series of layers of paint, usually watered down, um, so you can layer it from either dark to light or light to dark. Um, so you can work out the shadows and a lot of the colour work you can work out and build it up in layers. So what we'll do is we'll do um, a drawing that I've previously sketched and we'll just paint some layers over it starting with grey and then maybe add some greens and stuff like that and then that'll show you like a basic uh, way of adding colour washes um, to work out all your colours and things like that and then you can go on to some like advanced sort of like colour washes which is doing lots of layers and mixing lots of different colours and something like that um, that we could probably do later on so let's watch the video so here we have a skull illustration that I've inked. So we want to try and do colour washes. And I'll show you how to do effective colour washes on this. I haven't took out the pencil lines or anything. I'm just going to paint over them. More interested in uh, showing you how to colour wash illustrations. And just showing you how. So I'm going to use uh, so Li Liquitex acrylic paint um, it's a neutral grey 5 grey for this I want it to be like a, a mid-tone type of grey and I'm going to cover it all um, watered down with water obviously um, so I've mixed them in a little lid there just add water to it make it quite fluid And then we just cover it all the the skull really, and it ends up being looking a little too light, but it just gives it like a base colour of this grey. Well, that's what I'm looking for really. So we can just cover everything. And it doesn't matter if it goes over the lines, because I can fill the background in separate which I intend to do Let's spread it all out keep adding water to the the paint as you're going along evenly as you can anyway. Let me get some of these drips as well. Again, not really bothered about going over the lines because we can sort that out later. It's mainly the subject of the skull that we want to get in focus here for the colour wash or series of colour washes. just let that dry and then we can come back with another colour wash which uh, will pick out a lot of the darker areas like the mouth and the nose and everything and like a lot of the shadows right so I've just put a blob of black acrylic paint next to what was left of the grey paint so we need to mix a little bit of that and water it down again just mix some together I just want like a dark grey colour just move it over to the other to the top there and then we want to water this down as well a bit more water until it's darker than this grey that we've already painted so I think that's a nice grey so what I want to do start to add like the darker areas where I can. Again, I'm not really bothered about going over lines at this point. 
because we can always bring them back later. Oops. Remember to hold uh, the paper before it slips off the drawing board. So I'm just doing under the eyes of this zombie, leaving some like little white areas. Just that'll be useful for later. Just try and water some more. Just go for all the shadowed areas where you know it's going to be darker. Again, don't worry about going over any lines because you can sort them out later on. The drawing isn't ruined or anything like that. It's just in progress. A work in progress. And if you need to thin any of this colour down, you can just add a bit more water to it. Colour washes. There's like holes in the cheeks where all the cheeks have rotten on the zombie, so that's what I'm going for, like darker areas. I'll get that. Maybe thin that out a bit more. Wipe the excess off and thin it out. So really, it's just adding like layers of thin down watercolour or acrylic paint anything that you got really but for this the purposes of this video it's acrylic paint the Liquitex ones so we'll just add in the shadowed areas now um, maybe a bit more water on that Spread it out, blend it. Try and get some of these areas to recess in some of the drawing areas that I've already done anyway. Let me just thin it out a little bit more. Then we'll just let that dry. That's the second layer really. So now I've still got some black acrylic paint there. I want to thin some of that down now and still darken some more of the areas that have already darkened with a dark grey. I'm just trying to thin it out a little bit more. thin some of that off slightly so we're adding like a darker layer to there doesn't matter if that drips or anything I'm just trying darken the other areas as well again it doesn't matter if I go over certain areas because I can always lighten them back out later on So really the art of doing these colour washes is we're just um, doing it in layers, layers of like darker tone. You know you could you could start like doing um, darker tones like I'm doing here or you can do it all. You know you can start doing the darker ones right through to light. It's entirely up to you really however way you approach it. It's it's all the same really but I like to do the mid-tone and then do like darker sort of um, colour washes and we'll still leave some of them white areas that we've done so the key is just to darken it a little bit more, build it up in layers. Let some of that. Dry. 
just drip through. Just wait for that to dry and then we, we keep doing loads of light layers as many layers as you can um, just to like darken it and add like more tone to it you know this zombie head so we'll just keep doing that So really what you do is you just spend a lot of time um, balancing between like the dark and the light areas on your whatever you're painting um, try and like add like lots of blended areas and just keep adding loads of layers of grey um, to start with and then you can start to add like colours over the top if you want to um, I'm thinking this could be like a, a green uh, maybe uh, but you've got like all the groundwork of all like the shadows and things like that that you can you know paint over or color over with like colored pencils and markers and things like that so what I'll do is just do a time lapse showing me coloring this in with whatever else I can maybe some more acrylic paints um, just to get the guidelines of the color that I want <laughs>
have like a, a color washed a zombie head um, isn't really finished but it's more like um, uh, to do with the paints I like them drips on the eyes I wish I could have like drip a little bit more <laughs> um, put a bit more water on it A little bit more just because I like that sort of thing um, yeah so what I'd probably do now is just wait until this dries and um, I'd spend a, a lot of time uh, working with colored pencils and markers and stuff like that and really finish this piece but I'll do that off camera but that's the basics of colour washes, it helps you work out the colours, um, a lot of the shadows and colour washes you can do as many layers as you want, you know you could do more layers than I did on this one, there's still more like detailed areas where I could have just added more shadows and blended lots of extra um, bits of it but for now this will do, and that drip, oh that drip's got a drip it's got a drip. Get the paintbrush. There we go. Yes. Just thought I'd add that. <laughs> so yeah, try colour washes in your drawings uh, to work out the colour. You know, you, it's uh, a really good way of working out um, a lot of the colours and shadows and stuff like that. So have fun. Cheers.